So this is a GE Lightspeed 64 slice CT machine, which means it can take 64 slices through the patient at one time. Um, we can cover 40 centimeters of that patient in 0.625 millimeter slices, which are very, very small slices, and that's what gives us the ability to make such detailed models and 3D rendering. CT is becoming more readily available in the private sector, but not machines of this caliber. So these machines are mostly found in academic institutions, and if you took um, a look at all academic institutions, this is one of the higher end machines you would find. One of the biggest things is that it's so fast. The actual scan time is very short, so we can do patients under just sedation, we can do awake patients. It's really helped us with doing angiographic studies, so when we inject a contrast into the um, venous system, it travels through the patient very quickly, and now with how fast this machine is, we can get a lot more information from those angiographic studies than we were capable of before. Um, we've done a lot with the 3D printing, and I think our surgeons have really appreciated that, that because we can do such small um, submillimeter slices, our 3D models come out very nice and very anatomically accurate. One of the great things is we can use it for so many different types of injuries. We use it a lot for identifying cancer and tumors. We also use it for radiation planning, so our radiation oncology department will bring us a lot of patients. Um, we'll scan them, we'll find out exactly where the tumor is so that when that goes into the um, linear accelerator to get treated with radiation, they can focus and target that radiation just to the tumor and not to the surrounding tissues. Um, so we have the ability to do that. Trauma patients, neurologic patients, um, patients with pulmonary disease. The implications for using CT is, are very widespread, so it does get a lot of use and a lot of different services do use it.